Hello everyone and welcome to some more rapid action on leeches. We are continuing uh, to play good chess and the previous game wasn't all that impressive so we're gonna try to play uh, a, a nicer one this game. Uh, let me just unpin the zen mode. There we go. Our opponent is uh, Ber Resnik uh, UN21 and he goes for e4 so we will again strike with the Scandinavian and he goes uh, knight, to F knight to c3 so Everyone seems to be declining the Scandinavian. Uh, so capturing would probably be something like a, like a fairly drawish territory. D5 would be uh, seeking for advantage, but I'm not an expert in advancing the pawn as I don't face the, the decline one. So I'm just going to try to make it interesting. I'm just going to offer him to double my pawns and I'm just going to put my bishops. Uh... Okay, we could pin the knight. Doesn't really do... Uh, I, I don't think it's that spectacular. So I'm just going to put my bishops on d6 and e6 like like Morphy did. And hope for the best. All right, let's get our bit. Okay, now... Eh, not the best, maybe. Yeah. Okay, let's get the bishop in now. Since he already wasted the move by playing... And not wasted, but he played it to d3. So he's not going to bring it back to e2. Let's go queen check. He'll probably decline the trade. Uh, let's castle queen side. Or king side. Do we play safe? Do we play... Hmm. Because he will get those pawns marching forward really fast. Yeah, let's castle king side. Not the, not the most spectacular as we are playing the Scandinavian, but... Uh... Yeah, let's go f5 here make room for our queen a little bit and also prepare f4 could be very annoying for him uh yeah let's do it let's do it you want to capture on g4 i want to capture on e3 sure thing Yeah, you're gonna move, but now my bishop will be extra annoying here. Since there is no g4 anytime soon. Yeah, I feel like we've both misplayed it very, very early on in the opening. So now we'll, ju we'll just work with what we have. Uh, what, what could be a, a viable plan here? He'll probably play queen to c2 or something but not at the moment. Uh, so wh while this is happening, he's not going to play queen to c2. Yeah, okay. That that works. He he will defend the, the knight this way. So now I'm, uh, I'm even considering g5. Yeah, I'm definitely considering it. it. It could be dangerous. He does have the bishop pair, so my king could get in a lot of trouble. Uh, but yeah, I am considering it. Yeah, let's first uh, get the rooks into the game. Since the bishop is here, we can maybe use it to double up here. Is this anything? I don't think it is. Yeah, he okay. He definitely unpinned. Definitely unpinned here. Yeah, that wasn't the best, really. Yeah, he, he really got out of it nicely. Let's see if he gives up the light square bishop. No, he doesn't. Okay, I don't think he'll give up the queen for two rooks here, but who knows? actually might do it it's probably even good here it's probably even good but yeah I don't think he'll do it I don't think he'll do it and then we'll just start uh, shifting oh he will do it okay yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah, let's play c6 here. Trap is bishop. 
he doesn't have a mate here because my bishop can retreat. So he will play c4. C4 maybe to prepare this. Yeah, he doesn't want to allow me to push. He doesn't want to allow me to push, but I will play g5 simply to have this defended at all times. Um... Now let's go c5. c5. Yeah, this is now very tricky. He he definitely has compensation. Uh, the question is how much compensation does he have? So here. Cut off his rooks maybe with something like this in the future. Especially if he goes rook d1 check. Maybe this will also weaken this pawn. But I have to be careful of bishop c3. Yeah, it's very... Okay, so he will give one check. You know, bishop c3 could be annoying. Yeah, it could be could be very annoying. Yeah, how do you deal with bishop to c3? He doesn't want to play it. He wants he wants what? He wants me to capture and then he's gonna play bishop here. Yeah, why not? Why not? Um But I can just capture like this. Okay, King H2 was probably better. This is, uh, I think he's playing uh, quite a lot of suboptimal moves here. Yeah, he could have played that a lot better. We're going to check after the game. Yeah, we're going to take the free piece. And now he really has no compensation. Okay, so not gonna go pawn grabbing or anything like that. Let's uh, probably there's a there's a really clean way of ending things here. Just move the knight, deliver a check, and then get the knight into the game some other way. Yeah, this this will do. And now this. Okay, so he he is defending very nicely. Uh, so we're just gonna, since I, I really have nothing to worry about here, I'm just gonna play, uh, with, with the G4. But probably there is some sort of a, some sort of a tricky mate here. <clears throat> Although I, uh, last time I, I tried, uh, spending my time and trying to find a sneaky mate, uh, I just lost. Okay, so let's, yeah, it's also possible to play it like this. Now knight here will will get the job done. Yeah, okay, that was uh I mean it was interesting, but uh he he probably yeah that's how he will defend, okay. Um so now we'll just we're just gonna go through here. Uh, I had mate in one, but I, I, I have it all the time, so that's not a problem. Okay, so we won here. Uh, our opponent wants a rematch. Okay, so we'll play a rematch here, and then we'll gonna, we're going to uh, analyze the previous game. Uh, since uh, it, I, 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 well, it's a pretty, pretty short game, yeah, like nine minutes uh, into it, so we, we can play another one.
Okay, so we play knight f3 as that is the opening that potentially leads us to the Evans Gambit. So if it happens, it happens. If not, he'll probably go knight f6. Yeah, and we'll go knight g5. <clears throat> we won the first game. Let's play let's play something interesting. Okay, let's capture on d5, the two knights defense. He goes for the standard stuff, as expected. And uh, I've, I've, I've been experimenting with knight to d3 a little bit, with bishop to d3 a little bit. Also, I've tried some queen f3 ideas here, but uh, b bishop to e2 does appear to be the most solid. Yeah, okay, we're going to go back. So this is like the, the oldest of the oldest. Oh, I have some bishop d6, queen, c uh, queen d5. Um, not familiar with this particular move. But I don't think it changes anything. Yeah, let's go f4. Ah, and now bishop to c5. That's the, the reason why you do it in this particular order. Yeah, okay, I'm uh, very interested in seeing what it happens. Okay, so now if I play knight c3, he will just play queen d4. Is that the point? So let's play c3. So, okay, you show me what's what's the point. Okay, so he had to move, otherwise we'd win material here with pawn to b4. But yeah, his bishop is very nice here. I like his bishop here, definitely. So how do we how do we get into the game here? B4. B4 always wins the game, and it does so here, because now comes bishop c4. Yeah, and it nicely connects to f7. Now we can even play knight captures we don't have to play bishop captures yeah then he captures on f4 he gives up a rook for some sort of a nasty attack yeah let, let's just play bishop captures on f7 be safe about it yeah that's how we'll do it that's how we'll do it Hmm. This is very, very wild stuff here. Let's play c4. Close off that uh, dark square bishop. It's such a such a nice open game. Of course, he'll do that. Yeah, serves me right for playing c4 there, but okay, it's not not bad that that big of a deal. Go c5. I has to be a little bit careful if he goes here. Yeah, I might even. Okay, so I sort of blundered the bishop here, but not really. Because if he if he takes here, I take here, and then his knight is attacked. Ah, uh, it's a really, really wild game. So, uh, I still think I'm better here. He probably did something, something uh, weird with putting the knight on b7 like this, not being able to enter the game. Okay, so he doesn't go for any captures. He he wants to be safe here. He doesn't want to allow knight to g6 check, which is, of course, of course he shouldn't, but uh, I, I'm not going to allow that. I'm just going to... Even knight captures on c6 is very strong here. Yeah, I can just attack the queen and then pick up the bishop. So many, many moves here that are sort of nice. Hmm. Yeah, but this is is constantly preventing me from castling. That's very annoying. Yeah, this is nice, I believe, but what what then? And then the bishop just moves with his queen on d4. I can bring my bishop back here. Yeah, I think this is actually the way to go. 
Bishop g6 was nice. Uh, but I think it's better to just eliminate the dark square bishop. Yeah, again, I'm, I'm spending a lot of time here. Let's just take here. And bishop d5 even. Yeah, put pressure on that annoying knight. Not to, uh, I don't want to give him time. Okay, so of course I blundered that, yeah. Of course I blundered that, yeah. Oh, he doesn't even want to take the rook. He's that nice. Oh, he wants me to castle and then give a check. Yeah, not, not happening. Alright, so we are still in the game, although not as much as we were since we've lost a piece. Uh, he stops us from castling. He wants to capture this pawn. Uh, Alright. Do we have anything here that we can use to sort of exploit his king being on f8? Yeah, let's uh <clears throat> let's play a3 first. And then we're going to get the rook into the game and the queen and so on. So, okay, you can play that. Yeah. He probably wants to play some e3. Yeah, we're not going to allow that just yet. You will have to work for your meal, sir. Yeah, I'm not worried about being down a pawn because, I mean, these pawns are... These, these pawns are really nice here. Yeah, now he wants to play this, so we will prevent it. And it also stops his king from escaping. So this is now taken care of, and now we are threat... Yeah, we're not threatening anything. I actually just allowed him to capture my pawn. Uh, but it's fine. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, he will give a check again. Uh, but still, he has to figure out how to get out of this. If he... I don't imagine he will be interested in a perpetual here. That is something I, I could not imagine. So how do I... Yeah, he's uh, no doubt he's completely winning here. Oh, he wants to trade down. Okay. We will trade down. Not all the way, of course. Not all the way, but... What if I want to trade down all the way? Can give a check. Okay, he, he he's gonna go there. Yeah, he needs he needs to waste a move if he wants to push the pawn, and that will give me just enough time. Or he has to waste a move defending the pawn, and then again that gives me enough time to take control over the d2 square. Hmm. Yeah, again, I, again, I put myself in a position that's just ugly to look at. Or if, or if I play, uh, yeah, he's gonna defend it this way. But now I'm, I might even be looking in h3. So if he pushes the pawn, no, I have to stop. I have to stop d2. Yeah, unfortunately. I have to stop d2. Okay, so he doesn't allow me anything here, and he's threatening mate, so we're gonna have to play this. An endgame where I believe he's completely winning, but uh, let's... Let's check just to be sure. Let's go after the bishop. He will take here. I will put the rook behind the passed pawn. He will maybe give some checks. 
Oh, he will stop my advancement, of course. Can I take? Yeah, I can take. Hmm. Okay, down one, but others will advance. No, they won't. Hmm. Yeah, the bishop knight combo here is doing quite quite the job. Yeah, let's uh, let's at least keep his rook here. Okay, I will take the bishop. Thank you. There we go. I believe we are back. I believe we are back. Yeah, we can't only have bad luck. Uh, we also should have some good luck. Yeah, let's take this pawn as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at that move and I'm positive that he cannot do it. And yet he does it. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, of course he will do it. Yeah, sad, sad stuff. And now he's just up a pawn. Great. Great stuff. It's okay. Oh, he's gonna be up one more pawn. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Alright, so unless we have some sort of a perpetual here, we're just losing this. Yeah, checks are no no longer possible because he has all all, all the checks to stop a, any of my checks. So we're just gonna have to play this out and hope for hope for something. Although there's nothing to hope for here anymore. Yeah, he's just gonna push the pawn and that's it. Okay, so he gives me one. Ah, oh, but his king is so, so close. Yeah, if I can't kick away his king, then he will, of course, get an easy draw, uh, an easy win. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Is there something at least that we can play? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, just king f1. King f1 and that's it. No, it's not, but... Yeah, he's gonna give a check, okay. 
Yeah, now if he goes here, I can checkmate him. That'd be great. So he will have to figure out how to get, get the pawn in. Okay. I I have nothing but to repeat. Okay, what's uh what would be the tricky way to play this? Okay, let's put the queen here. King here so he cannot get the king out anywhere. Okay, so he just goes back, okay? Okay. Yeah, there's no way for me to actually win this unless he plays uh plays in a, a sort of a self mate, but uh maybe if he if he's not careful maybe I can draw this. Yeah, okay. We repeat. Okay, it's a threefold repetition. Okay, so uh, that was uh, very nice. Uh, let me just check uh, on the previous game. Yeah, the one that we played. Uh, we said that we were going to analyze it just to see uh, what was what was so interesting here. Okay, a standard Scandinavian uh, where I said that we probably played something weird in the opening but no this is still perfectly fine f5 yeah okay f5 is weird uh he countered it with h3 okay f4 now he moves the bishop yeah bishop captures on f4 was better and then capturing but who would who would know that okay so this is fine 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 uh pretty much a draw okay knight h5 actually a blunder queen b5 Bishop captures, captures, and now knight c6, rook, ah, rook captures on e8 was better. Uh, yeah, so just b4. Do, don't give up the queen for the rook. Yeah, that was uh, not the best. But even this is perfectly playable, still a drawn position. Yeah, it's fine, 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 fine. Okay, so now uh, after this check, yeah, king h1, that's the one that we mentioned was uh, the, the losing move. If he plays king h2, it's still playable. Uh, but now, yeah, there's nothing here. Okay, that's pretty pointless. And this one, sorry, the the one that we played uh, against him. Uh, let me just check here. Just check here, sorry. Is leeches down? Yeah, no, it's not. Okay, so this is the second one that we've played. Uh, the one where he couldn't finish me off. Uh, sorry, let me just uh, flip the flip the board. I don't know why it's flipped this way. Uh, yeah, that's the one. Okay, so let me just check here. Computer analysis. Okay, so yeah, queen d5 is weird. Okay, so d4. Yeah, I always get confused here. Do, do, do I play d4 first or f4 first? So d4 first was better, but f4 also not a problem. Bishop c5. I played c3 and here b4. Yeah, and like I said, I'm already winning here, but for some reason I didn't win. Uh, c4, yeah, knight a3 better. This just allowed this, but still it's winning for white. So where did I make the crucial mistake that allowed him to gain the upper ah just bishop d5 yeah i mean of course i did blunder a piece but still this is zero zero territory yeah still queen b3 actually yeah the losing move for me just queen c1 here and it's perfectly fine yeah this was uh this was pretty bad and then yeah still winning still winning still winning for him everything is winning for him yeah and now after he blunders this now i'm winning now I blunder my rook, so he's winning. And now we get this position here where he blunders a pawn. And now it's sort of winning, drawish, winning, drawish. But no, this is completely winning for him. 
and here we agree to a draw in a threefold repetition but the way to win as leeches will sh point out now is this and if i continued playing what i usually play then king comes out and then you promote the pawn so it's not uh, nothing spectacular uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I played two games, uh, none of them were really good, but in the end I got a win and a draw, so what are you going to do? Uh, you know, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, hope you enjoyed that, see you soon.